as a dad with three grown sons, two of them now married. Uh, you and your wife, Diana, certainly have set boundaries and hedges by the examples in your life. But to what degree was there instruction and in you just saying, hey guys, here's something to look at, think about, consider? Yeah, it's more than just uh, trying to do, to do that by example, because you can uh, be surprised later when the kids say, well, I saw that, but I didn't quite know what, what it was all about or whether it applied to me or, or because you're old fogies, that's something yeah. you guys need, but we're young people. So we did talk about it, and I would tell the boys why I had these, these hedges. And one of the things that was encouraging to me is that as teenagers, um, I didn't try to project this image that I am now an adult and I'm a spiritual guy and I'm a visible guy and I'm a Christian author and I'm out and around and so I'm above this. I've found the victory and I'm, you know, I'm lust is beneath me and I don't, you know. That would have been a really hard act to follow for typical teenage boys. I remember my teenage years. I remember my later years. And, and so I would say to them, I know what you're thinking about. I know what you're going through and what the struggles are. So let's not pretend that we're, we're all going to just decide we're never ever going to look at a woman again, never ever have a lustful thought. Let's, let's say, look at the scripture which says not to stand and fight and to win over this. That's the most freeing thing I've ever found. We all, as men, we want to win. And if it's over greed or malice or lying or something, you turn over a new leaf, you read your Bible more, you resolve to be you know, more committed. And if you can keep it up long enough, the Lord will help you win. Scripture says to flee lust. Mm -hmm. And so that says to me, you're not ever expected to win. You know, you can feel bad about yourself because you've, you know, you've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and you keep losing, run. And so I found, I could see it in my kids' eyes when I talked about that, that, you know, if you've got lustful thoughts and typical things that, that teenage boys have, uh, run because you're not going to beat this. You're not going to win. And uh, so, you know, we would talk about it fairly openly, and, and especially the two boys that are, are married are just so wholly committed to, to family and to marriage, and I'm sure the same will be true with our youngest.